Our entrepreneurship program is really exciting. It's empowering rural women while encouraging environmental protection. We empower rural women by providing an environmental entrepreneurship seminar. They come to our center and learn business skills, accounting skills, how to build a business that's also environmentally friendly. After participating in the seminar, the women can apply to our microgrants program to get a startup grant to get their environmentally friendly business off the ground. Kwanza baada ya kupata simu na nuluhulu kuhusu utunzaji wa mazingira tukaamua sasa baada kuona kwamba ni ni mradi upi unaofaa ambao hautaribu mazingira. The women determine what kind of businesses they would like to run, albeit they need to be environmentally friendly. One of the most popular businesses that they brought to us was the idea of beekeeping. Tukaona kwamba ni mradi wa miki kwa sababu inatunza mazingira kwa sababu bila mazingira huwezi kutundika hiyo mzinga. Kwaona kwamba ndio biashara nzuri ambayo haitaribu mazingira. Ndio maana tumeamua. We have the modern top bar hives produced in a special area and not in the forest where some trees are cutting down make it better than the traditional hives because it's environmentally friendly, which is our philosophy. We want to provide an income substitute for that crop farming by developing beekeeping, which is, brings in income for these women and stops the habitat from being destroyed. The beekeeping initiative is really exciting because the women access financial benefits from the honey, while in the wild, the hives actually protect wildlife habitat. We already have more than 30 women's groups involved in the beekeeping initiative, empowering more than 500 ladies for financial independence. They're a very important demographic of society, and I like the fact that we're empowering them to take more control of their own lives through gaining their own income. We're supporting ways for local businesses to also protect the environment. By hanging beehives way out in the bush, we're able to protect habitat for wildlife like lions, leopards, and elephants. Anywhere where you hang a beehive in the bush, that habitat is then protected by the national beekeeping policy. This means that people cannot cultivate under that area, and those wild habitats remain both for the pastoralists with their livestock and also for the wildlife. One of the conditions of our microgrants is that the women take on an environmentally friendly project. So not only are we investing in women's livelihoods and environmental protection, but we're also engaging community members as others see the women out protecting the environment. The beekeeping initiative is particularly exciting for me because as a woman, I relate to other women. And I'm very excited to help these rural women to uplift their livelihoods while connecting it to the environment. It's special that we can develop a project that has those dual benefits, helping women, protecting the environment. To work with women, to make sure that their voice raise up because we are supporting them. We are getting them from grassroots to a good level of life. I think it will give them more status within the village, but also within their own family. I think we are getting a positive reaction. The honey is good, and it proved that the honey around this area, Smanjiro district, is the best honey in Tanzania. <laughs> We're connecting people, wildlife, and habitats, ensuring that the entire system here is healthy and functioning for the mutual benefit of people and wildlife. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah